just look at that for a sunset at Stackerfries. Absolutely fantastic. Wow. Welcome to the Isle of Lewis. Look at that. Absolutely fantastic. The stack of freeze. I am so excited. I mean, uh, I've got to stop acting like a child at the minute and be a bit more adult responsible. Um, so, yeah, uh, because I'm right next to the edge here and it's uh, quite a drop here. So, stack of freeze, sunset. Oh my God, it's unbelievable. The colours coming through tonight are going to be spectacular, I can guarantee it. I'm going to put a time lapse on for this location. Three words on the screen for exactly where this location is. Um, I've been out in the sun all day, as you can probably tell by the colour on my face compared to my jacket, uh, a bit sunburnt. Uh, but this place here, Stack of Freeze, I'm going to be covering this uh, all week. Um, just hold on to my tripod here because the wind's picking up a bit. But I'm going to be covering this all week and uh, really hopefully I'm going to capture this place in all weathers. Uh, at the minute, uh, my composition, uh, I'll show you what I'm doing at the minute. So at the minute, uh, my composition is these little foreground rocks here with the uh, stack of freeze in the background. I'm banging off long exposures at F11 and at 13 seconds, ISO 100, and they're coming out nice and smooth and the colors are coming through lovely. Um, just wait for golden hour at the minute. But uh, yeah, as for uh, later on in the week, hopefully the, the, uh, the waves are gonna pick up and come uh, in about three days time, it's gonna be, uh, I can capture every single uh, scene with this being stormy, calm, long exposures, sun sets, and uh, we'll see how we go with sunrises, but uh, it's not really a sunrise location, this one. But uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. And what I'm planning to do is, uh, obviously I'm gonna push a bit further back. I don't know if you can see just down behind here. I'm going to get ropes out and I'm going to try and get a bit lower down and get some wave action with a stack of freeze in the background. And uh, it should be absolutely fantastic. And I hopefully uh, I can show you again, like I said, this in all weathers. So let me stop silhouetting myself. And uh, as per the Isle of Lewis, I'm doing Mangusta, Luskin Tire, and Stack of Freeze, concentrating on these three areas. So I'll see you a round stack of freeze uh, in my next composition. Catch you in a minute. Bye for now. So guys, absolutely fantastic first day here at Stack of Freese. Um, first day covering this and it's turned out absolutely beautiful. Got some really nice long exposures and some nice, obviously, still shots and uh, action shots as well of Stack of Freese with the gorgeous, gorgeous colours coming through at the bottom here. Look at that. Look at that for colours. It's nearly matching my face how it got sunburnt today. But... Uh, absolutely brilliant look at that for a sunset couldn't ask for anything better than this and look at the colors coming through the sky at the minute beautiful beautiful so at the minute my composition for this one uh, just finishing off for the night here uh, I'm at f14 and uh, three and a half seconds ISO 100 and I am at 17 mil possibly 18 mil there 
on that shot there. I've been uh, throwing up some uh, panoramics as well, but uh, it's absolutely fantastic. So join me on another day, and I'll see you soon on Stack of Freeze Sea Arch. Fantastic. What a night, and what a sunset. Good evening guys and uh, welcome to another evening at Stacker Fries. So let, let me just turn the GoPro around for you. So I'm actually sat on the edge here at Stacker Fries and uh, I'll run you through what my composition is tonight and uh, what my future intentions are. So uh, tonight, let me run you through my composition. So let me just swing this around you can see my camera down there so I'm capturing this little tiny arch here which frames stack of freeze quite nicely I'm at 10 second exposure time and it's given me enough basically movement in the water to a bit of drama basically and uh, obviously with a nice sunset sky uh, my settings for this are my aperture mode f11 and at 20 mil and it's given me 10 seconds exactly in ISO 100 and I've got a 0.9 grad in for the sky because it is quite powerful sun at the minute until that goes down I'll, I'll eventually take that grad out and probably put a 0.3 in there and uh, obviously I'm at a, a, a three stop ND in there as well and it's turning out really really nicely obviously the sun's setting over there somewhere so it's a bit out of angle for place for this uh, composition for a, um, a sunset shot but I'm still getting nice colours in the sky but obviously for us a sunburst it's not quite happening I'll have to push somewhere up on the cliffs over here to get that shot but that's not going to happen tonight I'll see how it goes and if I've got enough time I'll probably capture it but uh, my future intentions for uh, possibly tomorrow night uh, I'm going to abseil down the cliff just here and uh, get a nice leading line as you can see down here there's a like a rock and it sh I should be able to capture the motion going into the water a nice low down shot with that rock in it as well and stack of freeze in the background we'll see how that one pans out if I do get down there and uh, I'm just waiting for that sun to go down now and uh, I'll catch you in a minute bye for now just look at that for a sunset at stack of freeze absolutely fantastic wow unbelievable this has got to be the best golden hour I've seen at Stack of Freeze honestly I've just got some brilliant images here uh, especially I've got a nice panoramic as well of Stack of Freeze with the arch and the sun going down fantastic I really do hope they've turned out quite nice there's a lot a lot of motion picking up in the water now down here so I'm gonna hang around get some action shots of the water just like in motion wishing up and is that the word wishing up I don't know but absolutely fantastic and uh, oh man I'm so looking forward to getting these images off the camera onto the PC and have a look at them but wow what a, what a lovely spot so I'm right on the cliff at the minute see my camera down here um, I've just popped over the edge here just a little tiny bit I haven't gone too far because I've got no ropes with me but I'm, I'm definitely going to come back here and get my ropes out and get down a bit further possibly you can just about see the edge down here this is where I want to get to so I can get some nice colorful shots here of a stack of freeze in the background with hopefully oh I wish I bought my ropes tonight I really do I'm gutted I didn't bring all my ropes and climbing gear easy enough climbing back up it's getting down that's a problem but with ropes it just makes it a lot easier just abseil down oh wow anyway see you soon uh, back here in a couple of days uh, bye for now Good evening guys and welcome back to Stacker Freeze on another evening 
bit bit of a contrast from uh, the other day isn't it uh, well, look at those rays of light just penetrating that sea across in the horizon there on the Atlantic Ocean absolutely fantastic anyway you're probably wondering why are you wearing a bloody helmet so reason why I'm wearing a helmet because I'm abseiling over the top here and down to the bottom please please do not try this when you come to stack a freeze this is extreme photography I do know what I'm doing with abseiling and how I set up my ropes so and especially climbing back up it's going to be uh, even more tedious but uh, sit back in your sofas at home and enjoy uh, the images what I do capture here low down waves crashing up and uh, a bit of a uh, hopefully sun rays in the distance like that look at that unreal oh that is gorgeous so let's get hooked up and get going and uh, I'll see you at the bottom bye for now Hi guys and welcome to the bottom of Stack of Freese. So, obviously you see me abseiling down here. Uh, seriously, on a serious note, do not attempt to even try that unless you know what you're particularly doing. Uh, this is extreme photography, most extreme you can get in Scotland basically uh, on the coastlines. I'm actually watching the actual waves as I'm talking to you on the GoPro, watching the screen, seeing, seeing what's behind me. You have to be so cautious when you're actually doing this, it's unbelievable. Uh, so, let me talk you through what I'm actually doing at the minute. So, there's my camera. I want this rock here to be surrounded by a big crash of wave and create so much drama and foreground interest with stack of freeze in the background and nice dark skies. I'll run you through my setup. I don't know why you want to know my setup because I don't think you'd be coming down here and doing this shot. But I've got a 0.3 gradient for the sky, darken it a touch, circular polarizer. I'm on one second exposure time, uh, shooting on manual. Uh, I am shooting on aperture mode as well, doing a nice panoramic of this place. I'm trying to grab as much images as possible. Let's check the waves behind me. Yeah, they're okay. Uh, and uh, firing away. So, but what a fantastic location hey look at that hey eh? so i've got a hurry i'm gonna switch to uh portrait mode and just give it a nice big pano lovely colors coming through the sky now lovely 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 look at that excellent so do enjoy the images and uh look at that oh lovely waves crashing up there Capture that. lovely colors coming through the sky now and I'm just firing away. Oh, look at that. Absolutely lovely. So, yes, do hit that like, subscribe, and uh, I won't film myself going up there. Uh, it's going to be nothing like Mission Impossible where I'm clinging on with one finger. I'll be clinging on for dear life. So, if you're watching this back at home, you know I've made it back up anyway. So, uh, yeah. Uh, See you very soon in the uh, highlands of Scotland. Bye for now, folks. Enjoy the images.
Thank you.